you have to type in H as an hotel. So you're browsing along, you're browsing along. Maybe you click on that free hot singles in your area ad. Maybe you accidentally input a slightly wrong URL for that new baked beans website you've been hearing about on the radio. And all of a sudden, you're getting a pop-up on your screen that says your computer is infected or has a virus. Maybe it has a nice little phone number to call for tech support. Well, your computer doesn't have a virus, and these fake virus pop-ups and scareware are used by scammers to get you to call them so that they can connect to your computer and fix this phantom error for a hefty price. Maybe they'll even get sidetracked, quote, helping you, unquote, and take a look at all those EXEs you've been storing up for the apocalypse. Let's give one of these guys a call, shall we? Thank you for calling Premium Tech Support. How may I assist you today? Uh, I just got this message on my computer here, and uh, I can't really do anything about it, you know? I don't know what the freaking deal is with this. Okay. I was just working on this report here, and it came up and hit me in the face okay, like a ton so, of bricks. Uh, uh -huh, so what exactly the message is there on your computer? Could, could you please share it with me? Yes, it says, this is a net frame work file missing due to some harmful virus. Uh-huh. Um, Do you use the computer for any kind of online shopping or emails or banking like that? Yeah, all the above, you know. I do a bunch of shopping on it in incognito mode, but, um, okay. you know, you know, that whole thing. Okay, so it might be a security issue. So it's a kind of a security issue on your computer. Will I be able to I save my report? Because I was working on this report in the background and I can't access it now. Just listen to me. Listen to me, first of all. Listen to me. First of all, just relax. I, I'm there with you. I'm going to help you out in that. Don't worry about that. You're not going to lose any of your data. You're not going to lose your report. I'm there with you. You need not to worry about that, okay? First of all, relax. Okay. So could you please spell out your first and last name just um, for the information? Yeah, it's uh, Peter, P-E-T-E-R. Uh huh. Yeah, last name is uh, Nincompoop. And the last name? N I N C O M P U P. Okay. Thank you very much, Peter, for sharing the name with me. So, Peter, to help you out in a much better way with the problem that you're facing right now, yeah. I would like to initiate a screen sharing session, and that would be just a one-time screen sharing session oh. with the primary control that would be there in your hands. So I could find out what exactly the problem is and where the problem is. Uh, yeah, yeah. How, do we, how do we need to do that? Do I okay, need to so share the to uh, very carefully uh, project to files with you too, or, or the stuff in the background, listen or how does that work? You know. No, 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 listen to me, listen to me. Oh, Look okay. on the keyboard, and on the keyboard at the very bottom left corner, do you see the Microsoft Windows key with four small boxes on it? Yes, 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 next to the L. Okay, so L now listen key, to correct. me, listen to me, listen to me the process, listen to me the process. Oh. What you have to do is, please listen to me, Peter. With one finger, you have to press and hold down the four boxes key on the keyboard, and along with that, you have to press the letter R as in Robert. And as soon as you will do that, a window will open up on the computer screen that says run. Um, it brought up a little different box here. Now in that it open just box, says, just in that no open box, in listen to me, Peter. I'm just guiding you. I'm helping you out. Just relax. Yes, yes. I'm trying to. In that open box, we are the person. You know, I'm, in I'm that really open box. About this. What, what should I type in here? You have to type in H as an hotel. H as an hoax hotel, okay. What, one more time, H as an hotel. H as an hoax hotel again, okay. H, H. One time, one time blank space. You have to provide a blank space just one time. And that's all, that's all one word, or? It's actual blank space. <sighs> you need not to type blank space. You have to put a blank space. H. You need not to type blank and a space. You have to give a space. Not, not the actual word. I, yeah, I get that. And then what after that? E as an Edward. Mm -hmm. X as an X-ray. E as an Edward. Okay. Now click on OK. Uh, it says Windows cannot find H A space. Make sure you type the name correctly and then try again. Okay. So do do one thing. Do one thing. Uh, do one thing. I guess you are doing something wrong. So do one thing. Hold, hold down part the two keys together. Or something, or? Windows key. Maybe that's why it's not working. It's not a malware. 
it's an application that I'm trying to open. So do one thing. Yeah. Again, hold the both the keys down. You have to press down the Windows key and the letter R as in Romeo together. Mm -hmm. Just the same run dialog box again. Okay, now you have oh, to type man. in the different thing. Okay, I'm just telling you what you have to type. Okay. So you have to type in over there www dot. Mhm. Mm L as in London. L is in London. M as in Michael. M as in Michael. I as in Indiana. Uh -huh. Number one. Number one. Dot com. Dot com. Yeah, that just, uh, oh, it opened up a rescue by log me in. Like a little logo or something. Yes. Yeah. Or and is it asking to and is it asking to enter the six digit code? Oh, it says uh, enter your six digit code. Okay. So I will give you the six digit code, and you have to type in that code in that box. Okay. Okay. This will uh, get rid of the uh, that malware thing you're saying. The, the it will code, not the code get rid, give again. you the red. I will share. I will. Listen to me, Peter, please. Yes. This will. This is the thing by which I will go ahead and share your computer screen. Okay. Okay, but not my project. I can't have that getting shared. You know. It's just, not your project. I'm not sharing. I have nothing to do with your project. Okay. I need to get that in by tomorrow. And, I have nothing you know. to do with your project. <sighs> Are you ready to type in the code? Are you ready to type in the code? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Six six four. Six. Six six five. Back to back. Six six four six six five. Did you type in that? Uh, yeah, but those are like consecutive numbers or something. Let it be. Let it be. Random numbers are generated. If you provide the code, there are random numbers. Those are getting uh, getting generated. So don't worry about that. And it click just, on start download. Says, Do you see the option that it says? It just says six six four six six five, but I don't see any random numbers. It it's showing those actual numbers in there. Do as I'm saying. Do as I'm saying. Okay. Did you know that random generators aren't actually random. Well, that's a little tidbit I learned, which was kind of cool to know. You know. Because they are still built on an algorithm, so it's not technically random, which is kind of Mr. Peter, Mr. Peter, we are discussing the problem regarding the computer. We are not discussing the problem regarding consecutive and random numbers. Are you interested in resolving your problem, or are you interested in looking on the numbers? Um, well, I'm interested in making sure the numbers are correct, but they're, it's not, they're, they're not random, I mean. From uh, my end, I'm going to disconnect this call, and thank you very much for choosing Premium Tech Support. Have a great premium day. Premium Tech Support. so that they can connect to your computer and fix this phantom error. Fucking shit.